I want to capture the character of Bradford and that includes known landmarks and buildings also the difference really between the old and the new you got some I don't know what's happened to this roof it looks like fire damage but I really think it adds to the character lovely lovely lines textures just makes that image more stronger also I mentioned last time that I'm using customized uh, settings in my camera for those quick moments but what I'm going to do to ensure there's some continuity I'm going to keep to those settings which of course I say of course if you remember includes 800 ISO f11 aperture priority I just want to work this scene a bit the blue building there which I'm not entirely sure what it is but it's obviously modern in comparison to this I mean look at all these broken windows fire damaged roof there you've got this lovely ricked red bricked wall try to fit that in red against blue is nice I'm doing colour this is what I'm working against for that never easy a Sunday morning again and I've uh, approached the town from a different angle eventually I'll probably head into the central part of Bradford and there's a few, age, few buildings that I want to revisit I know a lot of focus last time was on the ice skating rink and I like those images if you remember I want to include the landmarks but not as the prominent feature the focus the focal point I still want them in the image but less of a proportion see what I mean still including the character of Bradford and that is another landmark that's the old Yorkshire building society that's been there for years and abandoned for years you can see that from all around different angles of the city centre I'm at the top part of Bradford which seems a bit more, let's say, airy I've still got my wits about me but yeah I'll get a shot of that Now, of course I want to add to the Bradford project but also see what else we can find for the Urban Life project which is focus around black and white one to one square cropped but in that, I want some people. There's not many people around. And of course, see if, there's, if there is any interesting characters around, which could add to my candid collection as well, as I did last time with the workers in the ivies jackets. All good stuff. Right. Now one of the most, I say most, more recent developments in Bradford is the Broadway shopping mall. So you've got that modern part of the city, the lower part of the city. There's some wonderful colours going on here, different shades of blues, you've got greens, purples with the beech trees. I just want to incorporate that, I want to incorporate a sense of the old traditional Bradford, the old part against the new I mean a part of Bradford I'm not really familiar with here and of course the sad thing about this place is the, the quieter it is away from the crowd you're more likely 
to find homeless people. I've just seen one now and I'm not going to photograph him. I know it's quite an interesting topic, but no. I'm sure if I was in that position, I wouldn't want to be photographed as well. I'm just moving you around here. I mean, there's the obvious shot here. I just want that contrast in the colours. It's quite hard, is this? Because I want to represent the landmarks and the features, the buildings in Bradford, but I want to present them in quite a, an obscure sort of way. So it's not obvious. As I said before, it's not the obvious focal point. You've got these lovely, what are they? Are they some sort of birch? Might be wrong. I think they're birch, maybe. All nicely lined up and then we've got the nice colours behind. Play around with this a bit. There's a nice bark here. Some nice different colours going on there, isn't there? The bark's been stripped away, yeah. What's it stripped away? It's different contrast. It's a nice combination. Look at the colours there. Combining colours is always important in all sorts of photography, including landscape photography. So of course, I've uh, included a bit of landscape photography in this composition. Get me angles right, it's quite hard. I've just fired a shot, a gentleman just walking past in the background. Um, yeah, incorporated combination of the colours. It's firing away at the right. Right, so I'm still on continuous shooting, of course. Just in case I do get the people in the images, which I have actually in this couple of shots. Just want to share what I've seen here. A repetition of shapes. So you've got a couple of circles there. You've got this nice diagonal. You've got the steps and you've obviously got the uh, diagonals and horizontals coming in from the brickwork. So that's nice, I like that. Right, so here we have it. A modern part of Bradford. On the side of Broadway, leading on to M&S, this is Well Street um, Park House. Some lovely colours, modern shapes. Bound to be something here. And of course, reflections. Oh, here we go, heading up to little Germany. Full of history is this place. Quite an affluent business area back in the day. Of course, it's got some characterful buildings. When you look, just look out there. Old, new. The sun is peeking through. It's quite a misty state. That's for the day, really. But that light is Casting some shadows on this building here. Makes it all the more interesting, of course. It's strange, really, because I never really... I know, obviously, it's, it's here, it's Little Germany, this area of Bradford, but it's only when you come to photograph it and start to build a, a collection, a project, where you really need to, or it really comes into light. The finer details, as it were. Things that I'd normally miss in my travels. I mean, there's a main road here. That takes you eventually up to our Shipley Way. I miss all this. I've also noticed as well, let's put you down, that I'm struggling, I say I'm struggling, I'm struggling to slow down, you know. 
the golden rule in landscape photography. Slow down, get your composition right, take your time. But I feel, and it's probably the environment to be honest, it's very instinctive and that, in a lot of ways, helps. As I say, it's a busy road. I didn't say a busy road, but it is a busy road. One of the main roads. So yeah, more instinctive photographer. But I like that. It's more, it's more fun. There you go. An example of a good feature in a candid. So I've had to move over to the R6 because the GoPro's run out of battery and I haven't brought any spare batteries. Brilliant. So there, you can see there, where's my finger? I'm sure you can see that. That is an ideal um, element of a composition where I'm talking about introducing candid photography, more street photographer. Obviously it's a character but move this way a bit, it'd be good if we can get something in the left hand side of the frame. Not sure what, he's driving the car, he's looking quite cheerful. Maybe a juxtaposition. She looks quite miserable. Hmm. Off to say. Okay, so I've returned to my favourite home in Bradford. I'm just around, um, well, so left on me is Hallings. I'm looking over there, that's towards City Hall, Courts. So I'm going to shoot a few around there, see what we can find. Uh, but I'm going to bring this session to another close. I hope you enjoyed it. Adding to my uh, Bradford portfolio. I'm still enjoying it. As I said before, there's a uh, oh, quite characterful, characterful moment. Completely different take on landscape photography. I find myself moving on a lot more. Obviously conscious of the environment. It's ever changing. I'm not too familiar with the um, surroundings, I've, I've explored places of Bradford, the details of Bradford, which, you know, didn't know existed. And that's why this project will not come to a short closure. And that's the sound of the uh, cleaner behind me. It's what? It's, it's approaching 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. So there's the final gallery of the day, if you can hear me. Take care of yourself, keep smiling, until next time, bye bye for now. Good morning. Good morning.